Here's a, here's a pointer. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No, oh, good morning. Um, I would bet that most of you here don't even know that an office of geographic information even exists in the state. So hopefully by the end of five minutes, you will at least know that it does exist and maybe a little bit about what it does. Uh, it was created in 2004 by some legislation um, and myself and Shelley Willoughby, we are the staff of OGI, okay? Uh, it was established within the Oklahoma Conservation Commission uh, it is separate from the Conservation Commission. It was put in there for administrative purposes. Um, and, you know, I manage the office. Uh, the executive director is the one that makes the appointment after consulting with the Geographic Information Council. And we have a fund set up that uh, we can put money in if we ever get any money, uh, which would be nice. Uh, so anyway, uh, but the overarching purpose of the OGI is to uh, coordinate the development distribution and the maintenance of geographic information. Now within that, we need to provide technical support, staff support to the Geographic Information Council, which is outlined here. If you're not familiar with that, it was created back in 1994. There are several of the agencies here that are members of that, ODOT, uh, DEQ, Water, Wars, Water Resources Board, and um, OU uh, Center for Spatial uh, uh, science is also available, uh, has a seat at the table as well as 19 members actually constitute the council now. It has evolved over the years since 1994. Just to show you that we're separate from OCC in that OCC is a member of the governor's ag cabinet. OCC, uh, OGI is a member of the uh, commerce and uh, tourism cabinet. So we, we do exist somewhat separately, although the commission pays mine and Shelley's salaries. So uh, it's kind of a dual hat kind of a situation. Uh, other responsibilities for the OGI is that we establish a statewide clearinghouse for geographic data. We'll talk just a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, we coordinate uh, opportunity to coordinate various programs for local communities as well as the state. Uh, consulting and uh, maintain, update, and interpret GIS standards. We also provide services to various state agencies. Have been requested from from several agencies over the years to provide the various services to them. We've made recommendations on hardware and software to our uh, OMS uh, Office of Management Enterprise Services on some things uh, relative to GIS. Uh, we haven't been able to propose any legislation as yet or uh, deal with uh, data uh, uh, sensitivity. Now, the status is that it, uh, OGI has very limited staff support. Uh, we receive no state funding. Uh, the executive director of the Conservation Commission has uh, allowed to provide some funds to support some work that Shelley and I do uh, with regard to OGI. It amounts to about uh, 20 percent of the FTE so that's about eight hours a week that we have between the two of us that we can uh, put on OGI issues which it, it's, it's not enough it, it actually we end up spending time <clears throat> on our own which that's just part of being a GIS person I guess uh, you have it in your blood and that's what you do so we, we enjoy doing that we submit a budget every year to the uh, legislature through the uh, uh, Conservation Commission's budget request uh, ever received any funds as a result of that. Maybe we need to ask for more money. Maybe if we ask for a million dollars, maybe they'd at least look at us and ask, what do you need that for? Uh, so uh, as I mentioned, we do have a revolving fund. We went through a process of developing a strategic plan back in 2007. It's available on the website listed here. Uh, we try to follow that the best we can, uh, but with limited funding, that's kind of tough to do from time to time. Uh, our activities that we've been involved with have been many. Again, I mentioned that we've supported several state agencies. Uh, we are members of the state incident management team. Our first call to uh, duty was the uh, Moore tornado back in 2013. Provided GIS support for that and the subsequent presidential visit that came along. You can see some of the other listed here. The most recent one was last sprint, uh, September. Uh, I spent nine days down in Rockport, Texas, uh, providing some GIS support down there for that, that uh, incident. Um, we have been involved quite heavily with the uh, council and the work group of the council to develop a state uh, address standard 
That standard was approved in 2014. It's, it's not a mandatory standard for people to use, but we think it is a good standard to, to adopt to have some consistency in address standing, standards uh, at, uh, activities. Uh, recently, since uh, Net, Next Gen 911 has come about, we have revised that standard and it's been uh, adopted this past spring to have it compliant with the, uh, the, uh, the new uh, 911 standards out there for GIS. Uh, and we're in the process now of, of maybe tweaking those because uh, we've had them uh, on the ground implemented and see some, some refinements need to be made there. Well, <clears throat> our biggest deal though is our geospatial clearinghouse that we have called OK Maps. Some of you may be familiar with that. It's been funded through some grants with the Office of Homeland Security. Unfortunately, that money we cannot use to support staff. So again, that falls on Shelly and I to support that activity as far as keeping it running, keeping it updated and that sort of thing. It is an open source based technology that we use. And um, uh, <clears throat> you can just see some of the performance measures there that uh, we now have a little over 6,000 individual users each month coming in and using the site, which has been about a 310 increase over the last two years. Uh, a little over 11,000 visits per month and then our bandwidth downloads uh, averaged last year of 55 gigs a month. Since uh, July, those have been running more like 70 gigs a month on downloads. The most popular data that uh, we see is uh, uh, LIDAR and uh, DEMs, aerial photography, and we also have statewide parcels available as well. I'll have a card that'll be available. Hopefully we can get them put on the tables for lunch. And this is just a shot of some of the people that are downloading data from OK Maps. Cool, cool. Thank you, Thank Mike. you. Thank you.